everybody irish guy jg jesse's in the house i'm actually in the truck i'm not in the house sorry that was lame but uh i'm in the truck i'm on my lunch it is extremely cold out so i'm 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 hoping to warm up a little bit and and bring you guys a message a message of hope i'm going to be reading from the 24 hours a day book so if you're in recovery you've come to the right place me and so many other people on this channel are in recovery from alcohol, anything from alcohol to, to drugs to some people have um, porno addictions, some people have sexual addictions, some people have, have addictions to food, and some people have addictions to everything. So in a way, we're all kind of in recovery. We're all kind of living for Christ, right? We're all trying to do the right thing and not sin. So in a way, we're all kind of in recovery from sin because we know what sin is and we know what it looks like and we know how it presents itself. But we don't always know how to navigate that and sometimes we end up sinning so that's when we ask forgiveness ask for forgiveness and repent to our to our lord and savior jesus christ and ask for forgiveness because you know what you don't need to let those sins linger on you don't need to let them things linger on in your life and take so much out of your out of your walk and out of your spiritual sustenance that you get every day don't let those sins be a be a negative you know don't let it take away from your piggy bank balance of of being with the lord so when we sin, sometimes we just need to, to realize, hey, you know, yep, you messed up, you screwed up. People who are in recovery, like myself and so many others, we go through the daily battle of trying to figure out how to live in recovery. And every day we get a little bit better, or sometimes we, we go backwards. Now, I haven't gone backwards in a really long time. I've been successful in recovery, and I think I found the key. So that's why I've made this channel. And that's why I'm, I'm maintaining this channel and I'm still trying to bring you guys the good word no matter how, what happens in my life or the spiritual attacks that we, that, we, that we go through or that we experience, we just need to keep on going. So if you're able to, you guys, and you're in recovery or out of recovery, but like I say, we're all kind of in recovery because we're in recovery from sin. So if, if you want to start a channel, it's not that hard. Pick up your phone, turn it around, hit play, and, and speak your mind. Tell people what's on your mind. And if the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ is in your life, you're going to have a good message to bring because other people want to hear what makes you successful in recovery and or in the body of Christ. What makes you successful? Praying, worshiping, praising, generosity, tithing. People get their needs met in all facets of, of the body of Christ. But those are some of the gist of the ways. So sorry, that's just my opinion for today and I felt like sharing it. So, you know, recovery can be hard. Life can be hard. Living in this world can be hard. But that's, we're not of the world anymore. We're of Christ, we're of the body of Christ. So look around, find a good support system, love on your family, love on your friends, and let them know that you are a person they can count on. December 30th, here is the thought for today, you guys. Wow, we got a couple more days in just December and we're on to a new year, 2022. To the extent that I fail in my responsibilities, in the, to the extent that I fail in my responsibility, AA fails. To the extent that I succeed, AA succeeds. Every failure of mine will set back AA work to that extent. Every success of mine will put AA ahead of that extent, to that extent. I shall not wait to be drafted for service to others. Amen. I shall not wait to be drafted for service to others, but I shall volunteer. Amen. Put that hand up. Hallelujah. Praise God. Volunteer for that work. I shall accept every opportunity to work for AA or the body of Christ. Accept it as a challenge. And I shall do my best to accept every challenge and perform my task as best I can. Will I accept every challenge gladly and with a giving heart? And yeah. Wow. Meditation for today. People are failures in the deepest sense when they seek to live without God's sustaining power. Many people try to be self-sufficient and seek selfish pleasures and find out that it does not work too well. No matter how much material wealth they acquire, no matter how much fame and material power, the time of disillusionment and futility usually comes. Death is ahead and they cannot take any material thing with them when they go. What matters if I... What matters it if I have gained the whole world but lost my own soul? Heavy, heavy stuff. Amen. Praise God for that good word. Prayer for today. I pray that I may, I will not come to empty. Let's start that over. I pray that I will not come empty to the end of my life. I pray that I may so live that I will not be afraid to die. I pray that I will not come to empty to the end of my life. 
I pray that I may so live that I will not be afraid to die. That is the word for today. And in case you guys are ever wondering, I do read from the uh, recovery. This is this is recovery literature. It's the AA book, but it's it's spiritual recovery literature, and it's from Hazelton. It's a it's a pretty old book. I think it was made in the 70s, and it's a daily reading. A daily thought meditation and prayer so if you guys ever uh, stick around on this channel and subscribe that's what you're gonna be hearing daily it's not God's Word per se but it is spiritual sustenance that we get and 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 I switch around some of the words in here a little bit but you guys it's got a, uh, a spiritual aspect to it recovery does in general and so I like to share that with you guys so if you're new to the channel please stay around subscribe check out what's in store because I got to tell you although the winter can be kind of boring I get out in the summertime and I get out and I try to meet people and I'll, I'll come to you if you're suffering or you're struggling or something and you need a brother to lean on, I'll call you, I'll come to you, I'll do whatever it takes, uh, more so in the summer months when I can get around a little bit better. But you know what you guys, this is what this channel is about. It's about helping other people who are struggling with addiction, who are struggling in recovery, who are struggling in life in general, who are who are, who are dealt a, a set of cards that aren't always so favorable, favorable in this world. But I'm telling you, you have favor in the eyes of Christ. You have favors in the body, favors in the eyes of the people that are in the body of Christ because we support you and we support the mission. So God in heaven, let's pray. God in heaven, if you know this prayer, pray it with me. God in heaven, I know I'm a sinner and I need your help. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is your son, that he died on the cross for my sins, and God raised him from the dead. Jesus, right now I open my heart and invite you to come in. Make yourself real to me, take control of my life, keep me from evil, and make me the person you want me to be. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. That's the word for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll bring you another one tonight because I know we're working a little bit late trying to wrap this up for the holidays. But uh, that's the message for today. And then I got a, a, a three-day weekend. So let's do some, some video this weekend. Let's do some, some deep dive into some scripture and find out what the Lord's got in store for us this weekend. But be good. Stay warm. God bless you. Irish guy out.